Guys, in this video, we are going to learn how we can build a language translation app using OpenAI API and ReactJS. So in this video, we are going to be building an application that you can see on the screen. So in this application, if I enter any text here in the text area input and select a language that I want to translate this text into, let's say I want to translate this text into German. So I'm just going to select German and click on translate. So this is going to translate the text in German and we will be able to see the translated text here. So we are going to be building this application from scratch. So stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. So guys, I have a sample application that is running here and I also have a new React white application that is running in this tab. So we are going to try and replicate our sample application into our new React application. To start building our new React application, I'm just going to remove all the default code that is here in our new React application. And I'll also go to app.css and remove all the default CSS that's here. And also in index.css, we can remove all the default CSS. And here in app.css, we can also remove this state variable that is here. And now we have removed all the defaults and we are ready to build this application from scratch. Let's try to replicate this layout into our new React application before we start integrating with OpenAI API. To build this layout, I'm just going to start with creating a div tag in this application. And, and on this div tag, we are just going to put some inline CSS. So here in the CSS, we can say that the padding that is that this div tag is going to have is going to be 20 pixels. And we are going to assign a margin top on this div tag and the margin top is going to be 5%. Let's assign a border on this div tag. So here I'm just going to say that the border is going to be one pixel solid and we are going to write the color code of the border that we are going to assign to this div tag. So here on the screen, you can see that it has created a div tag with a border around it. And we are also going to give it a border radius. So the border radius is going to be eight pixels. So this is going to create a rounded border on this div tag and and the next thing that we want to do is we can also give it a box shadow so it's just going to create a shadow around the div tag and this is going to be zero four pixels eight pixels and here we are going to give it a color code which is going to be black with a opacity of 0.1 so now you can see that it has created a shadow around this border so this is starting to look like a card now and inside this card component we are going to be building our translation app as you can see here so here inside this div tag i'm just going to place my h1 tag and this h1 tag is going to have a styling which is going to say the text align center and the color of the text which we can assign as as we like and this h1 is going to say translation app so that is just the basic h1 tag that we have placed here and so after this h1 tag we are going to be placing our next tag which is going to be text area which is going to allow the user to enter the text that user wants to translate into another language so we have some styling on this text area, which is basically the width and the padding. And we have assigned a border radius of four pixels. So it, it's having a rounded border. And we have assigned enough margins on the bottom and the font size of the text that user is going to enter in this text field. And the number of rows we have assigned here is four, but we can change it as we like. For example, if I change the number of rows to six, this is just going to extend the text area height. So user will be able to enter more text here. And the last thing that we have mentioned on this text area is a placeholder which says enter text to translate. So if we look at our sample application now, the next thing that we are going to need after the header and the text area is going to be like a drop down menu where you user can select a language that they want the text to be translated into. And after the drop down menu, we are going to need a button to translate the text. So let's go ahead and add a select drop down after the text area. So here after the text area, I'm just going to add a new line and add my select tag with a drop down menu. So here in the select tag, we got a options where user will be able to select the different languages like French, Spanish, German and Chinese. And we also got some styling on this select tag, which is bas very basic styling, which is width is going to be 100%. It's going to have some padding around the text. And we have assigned a border with a border radius. And we have also assigned a margin bottom on the select input with a font size of 16 pixels. So this is how our dropdown is looking on the screen where user can select different languages. And after this dropdown, we are going to have a button to translate the text into a selected language. So after this select tag, I'm just going to add a new line and add my button tag, which is going to say translate. So this is going to be a very simple button. 
with some styling on it with a background color and the border around it and we have assigned enough padding in the margins on this button so we can have some spacing from the top and the bottom and the text color that we have assigned on this button is going to be white so we can see the translate text is coming in white and the background is blue so our button is ready now and and the last section that we are going to need after the button is going to be the section where we should be able to display the translated text after the translation is done. So we are going to go ahead and add the last section in our layout. So here after the button, I'm just going to add my last section. So let's create a new line here and add our last section, which is basically going to be the H2 tag, which is going to say a translated text. And there is also going to be a P tag where we are going to display the translated text. So as of now, this text is hard coded, but we are going to make it dynamic as we integrate this application with, with OpenAI API. So here on the screen, you can see that our basic layout is ready and we are ready to start integrating this application with OpenAI API so we can make this translation actually work. So as of now, if I put any text and hit translate, nothing is going to happen because we don't have any functions in this application. And it's just the basic layout that has been built using HTML and inline CSS. So in the next step, we are going to integrate this application with OpenAI API and put some event listeners on this button. So when user is going to click on this button, the information that user has entered here is going to go to OpenAI API and OpenAI API in return is going to respond with the translated text that user has entered here. And once we have a response from OpenAI API, we should be able to display the translated text here. So let's go ahead and implement this logic into this React application. So guys, here in this application, I'm just going to create a three state variables. So, so we got three state variables here. Uh, the first state variable that is input text is going to keep track of what user is going to enter in this input field here. So whatever user is going to enter in this input field is going to be saved in the state variable that is input text. And the second state variable that is translated text is going to save the output that we are going to get from OpenAI API. So when user is going to enter the text here, this text is going to be saved in this variable. And when the user is going to select a language here in this dropdown, we are going to save this into our variable that is targeted language. By default, this is going to be selected as French. So I've assigned a default value on the targeted language as French. And when user is going to click on translate, we are going to make a call to OpenAI API asking OpenAI API to translate this text into targeted language. And when we get a response of the translated text, we are going to save that into this state variable, which is translated text. So as of now, this text is basically a empty string. So let's put some event listeners on the input field, on the drop-down menu and the button. So whatever actions are being taken by user on the input field and the drop-down menu. So we can keep track of that using these variables. So let me go to my text area input here. So here in this text area input, I'm just going to assign it a value of input text, the variable that we created and on change function. So whenever a user is going to make a change in this input field, we are going to capture the change event and we are going to set our input text to event.target.value. So whatever user is going to be entering in this input field, we are capturing it through on change function and we are saving it into our state variable that is input text. Same way, I'm just going to copy these two things and put it on my select tag, which is here. So on this select tag, we are going to have a value that is going to be targeted language. And when user is going to make a change, we are going to set the target language to whatever user has selected on the dropdown. And here at the bottom where the translated text is hard coded, now we got a variable to save the translated text. So what we can do is we can display the translated text here. So here I'm just going to display my translated text. And the last thing is we are going to put some event listener on this button. So when somebody is going to click on this button, so here we are going to put a function that is on click. So when somebody is going to click on this button, we are going to call a function that is handle translate text. So as of now, this function is not here in this application. So above the return statement, we are going to create this function. So, so here I'm just going to create a function that is going to be handle translate. So I've just created a simple function here. So to test the logic, to test if all the event listeners are working fine. So when somebody is going to click on this button, let's alert few things here. So we are going to alert few things here. One of them is going to be input text and another is going to be target language that user has selected. So let's save this and now let's enter a text here. So I'm just going to enter some text here and click on translate. 
So here you can see that we are able to alert the uh, text that user has entered in the input field and we are also able to alert the target language that user has selected. Let's select a different language and see if it's working fine. So let me select a German now and click on translate. So I'm able to capture the text that user has entered. I'm also able to capture the language that user has selected on the drop down menu. And with the help of on click event listener, we are able to access both the parameters in this function, which is handle translate text. And now in this function, we are going to pass these two parameters, input text and target language to our chat GPT open AI model. So we can get a response from the chat GPT with the translated text into our targeted language. To do that, we are going to install some packages first. So here I'm just going to open a new terminal. So I'm just going to install a new package here by running a command npm install openai. So guys, now openai has been installed in this application. So here at the top, I'm just going to import openai from openai. And here inside the app, I'm just going to create a variable that is going to be openai. And we are going to be creating this variable by using an openai module from openai. So here inside this function, we are going to be passing our API key that we are going to get from open AI API and we are going to be passing one more parameter here that is going to be dangerously allow browser to true because we are going to be making a call to open AI API from directly from our react application not from our backend so this parameter is going to be required if we want to make a call to open AI API from the front end so here in the console I can see the error that OpenAI cannot be invoked without new at app so we are going to add a keyword here before initializing the openai variable so this is going to fix this error now we got openai initialized in this application but we still have to pass our api keys here to pass the api keys here i'm just going to create a new file in my application that is going to be env and i'm just going to move it outside the source so this env file is in the right directory so here in this env file i'm just going to create a variable that is white underscore openai api key and here I'm just going to pass my API keys, which I'm not going to share in this video. If you want to know how to get the API key from OpenAI, I have another video on that for which I'm going to be leaving a link in the description. So you can watch that video and get your API keys from OpenAI API. So guys, now that I have saved my API keys in .env file, I should be able to access the API keys here by using something like import meta.env.whiteopenai API key. So my OpenAI has been initialized in this application with the API keys, which is good. So now we are going to make use of this OpenAI module into our handle translate text function. And that's where the translation is going to happen. To do that, we are going to be making a call to OpenAI API. So the OpenAI op API documentation is open here in my browser. I'm just going to be leaving a link to this documentation in the description. So here we are going to be using a text generation model to complete our translation. So here in this documentation, you will be able to find a chunk of code that will guide you how to make a call to OpenAI API. So we are just going to copy this chunk of code from here and here we are going to make a API call to OpenAI API. So I'm just going to comment the alert that we made here. We are not going to need an alert anymore. So here in this OpenAI API call, you can see that we have to pass the model that we are going to be using to complete the translation. So the model is going to be GPT 4.0 and the message that we have to pass to chat GPT so it can respond to our query. So here in the messages, we are going to make a little bit of change here. So I'm just going to delete one of the message here. We are going to be using only one message. So here in the message, we are going to tell chat GPT to translate our input text into the target language. And this input text is coming from the user input that is here. That's the dynamic variable that we have created in our application. And the target language is going to come from whatever user has selected in the dropdown. So we are passing these two parameters to chat GPT and asking it to translate this text to target language. And whatever message we are going to get from chat GPT, we are console logging here at the bottom. So let's try this function. So this is how the complete logic is looking right now. We are making a simple call to open AI API by telling it to translate our text to target language. And we are getting a response from open AI API and we are console logging it here. So I'm just going to save this and go back to my application. So here I'm just going to keep my console open and I'm just going to write some text here in my input field and ask chat GPT to translate this into German. So I'm just going to click on translate. So here in the console, you can see that we are getting a response where we are getting a translated text from chat GPT and this has been translated into German. After getting a response from chat GPT, what we are going to do is we are going to set our translated text to whatever text we are getting from chat GPT so we can see this text on the screen. So 
here we are going to say set translated text to completion dot choices of zero dot message and this message is basically an object and this object has a field called content which is basically the translated text so here i'm just going to set it to message dot content so if i do that and try translating it again now we can see our translated text here which means our translation is working fine so now if i try and translate this into spanish and hit on translate again this time it's going to give me the text that is translated into spanish i can also translate into chinese so now we got a text that has been translated into chinese so guys we can see that our translation app is working perfectly fine that's with the help of one single function where we are making a call to openai api and getting a translated text back from openai api so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one